I've always wanted one of these. Uh, I've thought about it when they first came out. I just recently got into the mood again about purchasing one of these and I'm looking forward to using it and trying it out on my videos. It'll be pretty cool to try out. It came in this case, it had a plastic bag wrapped around it, that was it. And it came in this case, it's a 4K wearable camera. 4K wearable camera. So let me uh, spread everything out and show you what, what comes inside. This is the, all the packaging, the way it comes. It comes with a 64 gig memory card. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that. I won't open it till I confirm me keeping the actual item. Just in case if I return it, someone else can use it and it's still brand new. So let's uh, lay everything out. brand new I am no expert whatsoever so please bear with me I'm showing you the one that I purchased on Amazon it had high reviews so I'm looking forward for it working I think it had either one and a half to two hour battery life on 4k so that's gonna be interesting to try out and this should be uh, I have no idea I'm gonna have to figure out everything Put it together but okay this is the card itself i gotta figure out how to open all this stuff i'm definitely going to be uh up oh, there it is okay that's the micro USB card. And then that's the micro USB for charging and poly to communicate. There's the EP7, they had the EP6, a little bit cheaper. So, okay, this is, I won't take that out yet. Uh, the micro USB to poly either charge or, and also connect to the computer transfer power photo and video so let's just measure the actual camera itself so the lens itself about an inch that way and an inch ah, seven eighths that way um, Three and a half inches long. It's nice. It's thinnest area. It's. Is that gonna be? Let me see. Uh, three eighths, five eighths, five eighths, about five eighths. In size. It's a nice looking camera. It doesn't seem very heavy. I'm gonna weigh it, of course. I got a scale. So that's the camera itself. Then this looks like it's the band that goes around your neck or your head, actually, I should say. These are probably the end pieces that hold it together. They'll probably go around your ears. This looks like it's a remote control. To control the actual device from afar. Probably Bluetooth. Tiny, I'll be weighing that also. All right, the actual instruction manual, which I will actually be reading so I can get an idea of how to, how this all works. This is like a watch band that looks like for the remote. So you can wear it. I guess I'll figure out how to put that together also. I 
bir yerde bir şey. Evet. It's gonna be a tight fit. It should go there. I don't know. I think that's what that's for. Um, now these things. No idea what this is. No idea what this is. It looks like some kind of audio. No idea. No idea. It's like a wire harness, microfiber, some literature on it. I guess on how to use it. This will be at the end. This will also be at the end. Another one of these things, I almost lost it. These are tiny. A 64 gig SanDisk micro USB micro SD card. The cable for charging, it's a micro USB cable. And now let's uh, measure. Pretty, pretty nice. It's about. Uh, Oh. Almost uh, about 30, 30, 32 and a half inches long micro USB. So, so let's uh, charge the camera, put it together, and I'll show you the rest and how it works. And then I'll try it out and I'll have some footage at the end photos and pictures of the actual product. I'm really hoping it works. I really am. Before I continue with the charging, let's weigh the actual camera itself. Well, let me turn it on first. That's the weight. Now let's put everything else in that you would be wearing on your head. Before we put it together, This is for so we're gonna assume you're gonna be wearing that. That's the thing. This thing. These ear pieces, it looks like, or end pieces, I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, not much. <laughs> That's the total weight. So it's not gonna be much in weight. So let's uh Put the camera back to charge, have it charged tomorrow, put it together tomorrow, and have it ready to go. I left the 64 gig out of the video because I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use the one that I found, which was 128. Just in case I end up returning it, I don't want to open up the packaging for the next person. So this is the camera, I fully charged it. I'm gonna start trying it out, but let's put it together. It looks pretty simple to put together. This is a tool I'm gonna use to actually screw in one of the pieces to somewhere here, in here. My only concern is when I remove the protection, the protection in the front of the lens, how I'm gonna protect this from getting scratched. But I guess I gotta figure that out. Uh, this is the screw that's gonna go on this side. And then a couple of these. So, of 
according to the instructions. I have to put these together. I'm gonna put it on my right side. So I think you could put it whichever side. Let me see if I put it in here. Could I put it like this? And then put that on my right. Yeah, it looks like it goes on the right side. Anyway, uh, putting it together, real simple. Put it right here, clips right in. How do you take it out? Just to, oh, okay, it has a little thing here. I guess you press that to remove it. Uh, pull it up, actually, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like you may have to pull that up to get it open. Let me just double check. So just a note, in order to take it out, I had to use a sharp object. The adjusting is fine. It's just that uh, in order to remove this, so you can see, uh, I'm sorry, here. So to get this out, when this is inside, you're gonna see this part here. I had to push down with a sharp object. I guess you could do it with your finger. You push this down and it'll slide completely out. Let me just show you again. Once it's in. Okay. In order to take it out, you have to push that down. This right there down. And it'll come out. See that little notch up? That's keeping it from completely uh, coming loose. That's what keeps it from coming loose. That little notch you push down and the whole thing comes apart. So this is the adjustment. It moves back and forth easily. I'm gonna put the other one on. This is where the camera will go. Cool. Now what we do is actually, the camera goes on the outside, right here. Just like that, it has a little, I think there's like a little notch there that lets you put it there. And then you take this piece here, and I think it goes in this way. Yeah, it has to. Mm, just like that. And nice and tight, and then this is the tool to tighten it. You put it over and you actually, well, I think this is the tool to tighten it. Let's see if it catches. Oh yeah, it catches. The notches meet up, you see that? These notches meet up with these notches. So once you got it in, you just turn it and it tightens it up. Yeah, I would carry this tool around just in case, just because of the fact that it could come loose as you're wearing it. Since you are wearing it, you're gonna be shaking it and stuff like that. This is one of the covers, I guess, to protect you from touching your skin, the hard metal. And just make sure this is nice and tight again. And this piece goes around it. And I think that's all there is. All done as you can see. And now I think this is just an extra one. As absolute as I see nowhere where it would fit. I, I just have no place where it will fit. So I think it's an extra one. 
And let me see where those are. These little wire things would go. So I went to the instructions and according to the instructions, these are called hooks and they prevent the charging cable from disconnecting. Um, I'm not gonna have that issue. I'm a little bit confused as to how would I would even use it once it's all put together, this thing. I have a table and I plug it in here and my cable's not gonna be pulled or anything. So I'm not sure for the exact use of it. So those hooks will be being put to the side. I won't be using them. This, I believe is just an extra. Um, this is called the, let me see the name of it. A soft rubber sleeve. That's what this is called. And that'll be useful if that this one wears or tears or anything like that. So pretty much the only accessory I'm gonna be keeping is the well I'll be keeping the mic the micro USB charger so when I'm out and about I can actually charge it in my car or something. And the remote with the watch. Let me get the remote so I can put it inside the watch and um the only thing is weird thing is that it comes with this nice case but once it's all put together i don't want to take it apart every single time so how's it going to go nice and neat into the case that's going to be the bizarre part so i can't keep this because it's not going to fit i want to leave it somewhat like this i don't want to keep taking it on putting it back so i don't think the case is going to be very useful Okay, maybe like that. Okay, it closes like that. You have to be very careful. Yep, just like that. Cause I'm not gonna want to take it apart. I don't know about you. So the case itself. All right, that should protect it. And I guess I could put the little pieces, the accessories in here. The actual micro USB cable in here, and the uh, watch battery. Okay, let me get. Uh, the watch band for the remote. Just in case I didn't, because I always do. Let me measure the cable that comes with it. So this is the micro USB cable. And it is... Uh, two feet, eight inches, two feet, eight inches. I'm gonna be keeping the cable in here with the other accessories. Hopefully that doesn't get lost. I'll be very careful. These are gonna go off to the side. So is the sponge since it's kind of useless. I, I, I don't find any use for it now that it's all put together. Come with a micro USB. So as soon as I take the cover off, which I won't right now, I'll just leave it sort of like that to protect it from getting scratched. This is the remote. I will be charging it. As you can see, this is the uh, micro USB charging port. You put the micro USB in there and you charge it up. And uh, let's put it on the watch band. So I believe it goes, this is the actual watch band. I believe it goes from the bottom up. Does this come out? Oh, that comes out. I didn't even realize that, okay. Maybe it'll be easier. So, okay, so that's what I, I was finding it difficult and I was gonna do it on camera to try it to see if I can figure it out, but that's what it is. So it comes with two adapters. I guess this is like a keychain one. You can put this one on your wrist or what have you, um, or you can use the watch band. I might actually just keep it like this. Uh, I'm more of a putting it in my pocket type of person. So you have to take that out and then put it on the watch band. And it's in the watch man. Awesome. I'll see what I want want to do. Um, I think I might actually just leave it here and I'll put a little uh, lanyard to uh, take it around. It's much easier than the actual watch, but that's how you put it on. And the watch itself, just in case you're curious. This ends. 
nice little clip. Uh, or, uh, I forget what you call those. We'll go through here. And then you just clip it out. And that's it. And you're done. All right, let's take it out and about, try it out, see how well it works. At the end, I'll show you some sample shots. I'll put sample shots and I'll show you everything. See how it comes out. Maybe I'll do some uh, audio testing. I heard some stuff about the mic. Uh, so let's hope the mic's okay. If not, um, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll use this just for video and that's it. Let's try it out. So I'm testing the video real quick. I'm actually doing some work. This is the remote control that will allow me to take some photos and videos. So I'm gonna do a quick five minutes. Now I'm not gonna upload it as 4K. It's automatic 4K in regards to this uh, sample video. So I'm giving you uh, some information uh, before I end the video. And that's that it's uh, automatically 4K. The, you know what let me get let me stop video for one for this second so these are actually some things I've learned in regards to the camera uh, I'm not using the app I'm not gonna use the app so I'm not even gonna bother to show you the app um, because I don't want to use up the Wi-Fi in regards to making recordings because of the fact that the Wi-Fi is just going to make it harder or actually reduce the battery life so I'm not even going there um you have about an hour and 15 minutes of continuous 4k video shooting uh i tested that and i got exactly um one hour and 15 minutes probably the last 15 minutes it starts to there's a this little thing i put the little uh ear thing that's on the side that's that little rubber piece that actually goes to the side of the camera and the camera speaks to you but it doesn't come out on the video but it tells you low video uh or actually low battery i should say low battery life so it's telling you about low battery life uh but it doesn't come out on the video i noticed that's pretty cool and uh, that started that kept repeating like every one to two minutes for about 10 or 15 minutes that's my neighbor's doggy hey how you doing how's everything so you get an hour and 15. Um, I left it charging overnight the first time. Uh, they say that it needs about three hours of full video charging in order for the actual uh, camera to be fully charged. When um, So one thing I just learned in about, if you stop recording in five minutes, it goes into, it turns off. So you can't turn it back on. I don't think you could turn it back on with this, I tried. But you're going to need the actual press the power button on the actual camera to get it going. And then this will start again. But once it turns off, you need it to turn it on first on the camera. So it'll go on standby mode for five minutes and then completely shut off. Um, okay, I told you about the charging soon. That 15 minutes, every two minutes or so, it tells you that you need to start charging. When you put in the SD card, when you first insert it, mine said formatting and it formatted it automatically. If you want to do your own format, you have to hold the photo button for three seconds and then it will automatically format the SD card. The 
SD compatibility compatibility is uh, or the highest SD card. And since it's 4K, I would get something like X10 or above, or I think it's U3. Uh, anything 80 or 90 megabits per second read and write, that would probably work well. Minus that, I had an extra one, so that's what I did. The maximum size is 256 gigs. And again, just to start and stop recording, you just press the button once and it stops and starts. Uh, no issues right there. Each clip that you record, so if I do a continuous radio recordings like I did when I first tested it, not this clip, but another clip I did, more personal, more private, I was wearing around my home. It lasted an hour and 15 minutes and they did five minute clips, five minute clips at 4K. Uh, it was 3840 by 2160, I believe. It's all 4K at the end. I took a screenshot of that. So it's all 4K. Um, it's all oh, 3840 by 2160. Yep, I wrote it down. Oh, the image stabilization is really good. I'm very impressed by the image stabilization. Uh, it works really, really well. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. It's really nice. Um, it, it really works well besides... What I have to do, what I noticed, just to let you know, is when, if I turn my head right, right away, or, uh, yeah, right. If I go this way, turn right, you'll see my nose. So I'm trying to keep it as far back as I could so it's more of a view like that. Whereas if I try to get too comfortable, the camera kind of turns in. So if I open it up it, on the sleeve itself, if I open it up, it kind of curves in like this and it'll show the tip of my nose i hope i didn't show the tip of my nose um i not used to having uh anyone ever tell me i had a large nose so i'm assuming i don't so anytime i turn right right very quickly you'll see my nose and that might be the video catching up but i'm not sure so i'm trying to stay as stable and straight as possible uh knowing that so that way the camera only takes photos of uh or video of actually uh a straight ahead view instead of my nose as you don't want your nose in the shot so i'm coming out here i'm just checking the bat houses that i i did a video on seeing if any uh, critters have come in yet and i'm um, just taking you along to show you the quality of the video now i'm doing this only in 1080p it does 4k and it looks awesome the audio to the mic, so people were complaining about the mic. If you speak loud and clear, I don't see any critters in there, and my other one is over there. If you speak loud and you speak clear, it, it's not an issue. Like, I could hear myself. I also did a test in a van. So the van is about 15, about 15 feet long, and in the van, I had my kids in the back and I had them count to 10 so I could play it back. So both my kids were in the back. My wife was to my right on the passenger seat. And I had decided to see if uh, if my wife, if the audio came over well. As for myself, it was very clear. As you're hearing now, I'm sure you're hearing me very clear. You're hearing the rustling of the leaves as I'm walking. My wife came out very clear. She was about two feet from me to my right. My kids in the back about, uh, I'm going to say 10 to 15 feet back. I believe it's 10. It might be 12 feet long. I forget the length of the van. I heard them very clear also. So I don't know about the audio and people having issues with audio. I thought it was pretty clear and it had no real, real issues. So I have no complaints about the mic. I thought it sounded great, but I don't know. So I'm going to actually end the video here. I'm sorry I'm not showing you the app. I'm not even gonna bother using it or trying it. Uh, I do all my editing in, on my computer. You can connect the micro USB to the USB and it becomes a hard drive and you could drag and drop. I just actually have an adapter that's pretty fast. I take out the micro SD card, put it in, and I transfer it right, you know, very quickly with no issues whatsoever. So that's the way I'm using that. I'm showing you how I'm using it and I'm not gonna do the app thing. You could, again, the of what I read in the instructions and what I've seen online, 
when, do, when you use the app, what happens is that you reduce the uh, usage time as a lot of the uh, time is um, a lot of, you know, about, uh, you use battery life that you could actually save to record video, which is what I, my main concern is, is to record video, not to actually make it easy for my phone. I'm not a phone carrying guy either. You use an app? Great, I know this is, that's not what's going on now. Everybody uses an app for something. I don't like apps. I'd rather not use an app. I don't want to connect to it with my phone. I leave my phone home a lot. Uh, I'll leave it in the car. I don't even bother taking it with me unless I'm gonna take photos. So I didn't, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm sorry, that's just the way I'm using it. But it works great as a regular video camera. And I hope you could see the quality of the audio and the quality of the video, even though it's gonna be 1080p. I'm very limited in bandwidth, so I cannot upload it in 4K. It would take me forever. But let me see what I can do. Maybe I'll leave a link below this in 4K, and that way you'll, you'll get a better idea of the actual video. So you know what, I'll do that. I'm going to leave a, uh, I'll leave this part of the video in 4K, and you can see for yourself down below in 4k now it is uh april 18th april 19th of 2021 so you gotta wait because 4k for video for uh youtube to transfer from or convert from hd sd hd to 4k does take a while sometimes a week or two so hopefully by may this video will be in 4k and you'll be able to see it I really, really, I, I love this camera. I'm going to definitely keep it. It's a keeper. I'm gonna use it, part of my, my video making. Uh, it's gonna be awesome to you. It's, it's gonna be nice to, when I'm riding on, a, on an ATV in a car or on my lawnmower to have this on, it'll be pretty cool just to record that. Really, really nice. I'm looking forward to doing things like that. All right, so I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask below as I'm really going to try to make sure I keep this and use it as much as I can and learn more about it. Again, sorry about the app thing, but uh, I'm not interested in wasting battery life. The manual said that if you use the app, you're looking at 45 minutes to an hour of recording. I got an hour and 15 minutes and those 15 minutes, you know, can, it, I don't want to lose those 15 minutes just to connect to Wi-Fi and have different apps. I use my computer to convert videos and transfer and do all that stuff, so I don't need the app. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye. Some info on item. Ordro EP7 Vlog 4K 60fps Video Camera Wearable Camcorder Hands-Free FPV Mini Body with 2-Axis Gimbal Stabilizer App Control 64GB Micro SDXC Card Included W1 Remote Control, Carrying Case, April 15, 2021 Price, $239.99 Purchased on Amazon's website Model Name EP7 Brand Ordro Video Capture Resolution 4K Optical Sensor Size 1 3rd Connectivity Technology Wi-Fi About this item Equipped with Sony 13MP CMOS Sensor, Ordro EP7 can achieve high-quality 4K video output and support up to 60fps video recording. Lightweight body of only 76 grams with ergonomic design brings not only comfortable handheld feeling but also 3840 by 2160 video image with 4 times of 1080p HD effect. U3 micro SDXC card is equipped to achieve 100 megabytes per second video transmission. Moreover, EP7 also supports the storage capacity up to 256G for more 4K videos with HD display. Head-mounted design brings the same FPV perspective as human eyes during hiking, handmade process, interaction with family, communication with friends, working or teaching and hands can be completely freed in the process of recording. EP7 can be controlled by app through Wi-Fi. Download the tailored Ordro app for EP7 in the iOS and Android app stores and enjoy the images presented by EP7 anytime. 
Videos can also be edited and shared to social media. Equipped with 2-axis anti-shake and autofocus stabilizer, the stability of videos will never be affected due to handshaking so as to achieve smooth and clear video recording. Thanks to Sony High ISO sensor and built-in HDR function, EP7 can provide more details than ordinary effect even in darkness. IP65 level waterproof provides perfect rainproof and dustproof performance without additional shell protection. Sweatproof design ensures comfort handheld feeling in outdoor sports. Quarter thread is designed at the bottom of EP7 for connection to a variety of accessories, including the selfie stick or tripod. Stereo microphone with dual channel is designed for sound recording. 1000 mAh high capacity and long durability battery can support video recording while being charged by power bank so that you will never worry about power failure. Streamlined headband design ensures tight contact with the head and ears even wearing glasses. Matte texture surface feels very comfortable and the top is equipped with physical button for easy shooting by one touch. EP7 is suitable various applications such as food cooking, vlog shooting, conference recording, working and teaching. Product Description 4K Vlog Camera 4K Vlog Camera Sony CMOS EP7 use Sony's new high-sensitivity CMOS sensor to increase the edge detection range and calculate RGB color space for a single pixel, improve resolution while reducing noise, and restore high dynamic range 4K images. Share and check your video easily. EP7 supports Wi-Fi app control. You can download Ordro's TaylorMade app for EP7 in iOS and Android app stores. Watch the images brought by EP7 at any time, and you can also edit videos and share them on social platforms. 4K quality. High quality 4K video output, maximum support 60 FPS video recording, the use of ergonomic 76 grams of light body while focusing on the use of comfort while bringing 4 times the 1080p resolution of 3840 by 2160 video use the app only as a screen preview. We recommend that you watch EP7 video on your computer or TV. Especially it works better on 4K devices. 4K vlog camera. 1000 mAh high capacity battery. Long battery life 1000 mAh high capacity battery can support charging and recording while connected to a power bank, shooting at will, without fear of power low. First person view. The head mounted design can achieve in first person view with the same vision as I. Whether it is hiking or handmade and interacting with family, friends, work, and teaching, you can release your hands and create while recording. 2-axis anti-shake. Equipped with 2-axis gimbal anti-shake and autofocus functions, it will not affect the stability of the picture due to the shaking of the human body, and achieve smooth video recording and maintain clarity. 4K Vlog Camera Autofocus, 90-degree viewing angle The wide-angle field of view of up to 90 degrees, compared with other sports cameras, will not cause picture distortion. IP65 Waterproof IP65 Level Waterproof do not worry about rain and dust, EP7 does not require additional kit shell protection. Not immersed in water or used for underwater sports. Physical buttons. EP7 is upgraded from the previous generation touch buttons to physical buttons to reduce false touches. The three-dimensionally designed buttons can accurately sense the functional area, avoid visual blind areas, and improve the accuracy of keys. 4K Vlog Camera. Two-way adjustable headband. Two-way adjustable headband, fits the head shape, will not fall easily, and has a strong sense of comfort. Streamline design headband, fits the head and ear shape, wearing glasses does not affect the use. W1 wrist remote control. The EP7 is equipped with a wrist type remote control that supports taking pictures and videos. When the EP7 is not worn on the head but installed on a tripod or helmet, you can use the remote control to assist operation. Content 1X EP7 1X W1 Wrist Remote Control 1X 64G Micro SDXC Card 1X USB Cable 1X Carrying Case 4K Vlog with EP7 Easily shoot and record daily life New Vlog Recording Solution, ideal for beginners and vloggers 
Ordro EP7 Vlog 4K 60 FPS Video Camera Wearable Camcorder Hands Free FPV Mini Body with 2 Axis Gimbal Stabilizer App Control 64GB Micro SDXC Card Included W1 Remote Control Carrying Case this item Wardro EP7 Vlog 4K 60fps Video Camera Wearable Camcorder Hands-Free FPV Mini Body with 2-Axis Gimbal Stabilizer App Control 64GB Micro SDXC Card Included W1 Remote Control, Carrying Case.